everybody and welcome to a new series that we are going to be starting today, this morning, evening, afternoon or night, depending on what corner of the earth you live on, except for the earth is round so there are no corners, but that's besides the point. This is Spiral Knights. This is a game that I used to play quite a bit two years ago and I mentioned it just briefly in the last survival games episode that I did but today we are going to start it with the first pilot episode and I forgot to change something real quick so let me take care of that okay here we go we are going to log on and this is my old account that I used and as you can see I played quite a few hours on that that's over 400 hours I believe which is quite insane really but we are going to start ourselves a new account and we are going to be having a fantastic time and this first episode might start off a little bit slow because there is some tutorial stuff that we have to get through first before we get into the main game. But I'm going to try and bl go through that as quickly as possible that way we don't waste too much time in the tutorial and we just move on to the main point of the game so we can get right into the fun part of it. But here's the intro sequence which I really should have just been quiet for so you guys could kind of understand what's going on but anyway something or other we discovered a planet and it looks like this how fancy is that it's even got a strange little golden ring around it and stuff and then there's our spaceship and it's like whoa what a fancy looking spaceship thing it looks like a shovel and then we got this the inside and we got the looking at it with the radar and we got this guy's like captain old the skylock has identified this something or other at last began preparations for descent we must harness this power oh no the screen is flashing red captain energy signatures are shifting i've never seen anything like boom and then the entire spaceship is blown to smithereens all hands evacuate the ship immediately sound effects and such and then these are escape pods and stuff and there's our escape pod and, and there it goes down and down to the earth and except it's not earth it's it's called the cradle because that's the planet and then we got the title screen which is very fancy look at it so beautiful anyway I don't really remember what I was gonna say before I said anyway so that kind of ruined the point of it but we're gonna get started here building ourselves a new character and then once we get ourselves all situated and past the tutorials, if any of you guys play this game or want to play this game, then go ahead and just contact me in game and I can join you and we'll all have a good time together. If this would just load up a bit because it stopped loading. There we go. Okay, so here's our basic knight here, but I don't like the way he looks, so we're going to fix him up a bit. We're going to change some stuff around. I'm going to go with the Crescent Helmet because that's the one that I like the best. And the Flak Jacket as well. And we are going to go with the... What style? I like the Toasty style, but I also like the Heavy style. I think I'm going to go with the Heavy for this, so let's do that. And then next... Uh, accessories. We got ourselves a Headband, which I don't really care for. Bolted V made headband mind display thing, but we don't need any of that. What I want is the plume. That's what I like on the back because it makes me look all knightish and stuff. Okay, then our height. My height on my other character was tall, so I'm going to make it short for this one just because I like being a little guy. And then happy eyes, determined eyes, almond eyes. There's a lot of other customizations in this. This is just the default ones. And buying different eyes is actually a pretty difficult process because the more rare the type of eyes, the more people want them and the more expensive they get. So I'm going to go ahead and just go with the normal eyes, just kind of vacantly staring off into space. And my color for this account, although it be quite ugly, is going to be yellow because I am Banana Man and that's what I do. So, um, names, for some reason, somebody already took the name Banana Man which I was pretty disappointed for. And you can't add 57 or anything because there's no numbers. So that stinks. On my other account, I had to make it Banana Otoko because that's the Japanese for Banana Man. But that's not going to be the case in this situation. In this situation, I'm just going to go ahead and make it Banana Man. Eh, no capitals? Okay, fine. Banana Man plays. 
and that is going to be the user for this series because that's my YouTube name. So, here we go, creating that knight. Man, that yellow is a pretty ugly yellow, but I'm not going to focus on that because it'll look better in the future. Okay, we are just waiting for this loading screen again, and it's being a bit laggy, unfortunately. Okay, here we go. Now it's loading up, and... Most people play this game using the keyboard and mouse. I personally have found it more enjoyable to use a USB controller, so that's what I'm using in this case. But you can use anything you want, really. You can use your keyboard and mouse, you can use a controller like this, or you can use your mind if you have some sort of device that actually allows you to do that, which is pretty unlikely, but still somewhat possible. I was also going to say for this loading screen, we're actually going to go ahead and sit through it just because I've already started talking. But for future loading screens, I'm going to pause the recording and then resume it after we finish um, the loading screen. That way you guys don't have to sit through so many of those. Okay, so here we are in our basic area. We can move around using WASD with the left mouse, but I'm using a controller stick. And we are supposed to get a message. There we go. Come in, Banana Man, please. Are you there? Oh, this is Record Knight Rendon. I'm here. What happened? You hit the surface. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. I said I was going to skip through all the tutorial stuff, so you guys can stop to read all that if you go and play the game for yourself. I'm just going to skip through most of this as quickly as possible, just for the sake of time. So, just collecting money from the bushes and stuff. And this level seems very laggy for some reason. I don't know why. But hopefully that'll get better in the future levels because it is not usually this choppy. Okay, there we go. We're just going to make our way up through here, defeat these very low-level enemies, take their money because we are pirate thieves. Ha <laughs> ha not really, but anyway. Alright, let's go ahead and climb through the bushes here. And then we are going to take out this thing right here and that thing like that. And then this guy too because we have a thing against lizards. They're, they're not our best friends. And the two things that you start out with too, you got your proto sword and your proto gun. You can use the proto gun to get things that are further at a distance. And the proto sword is better for close up things. This guy's going to talk to us some more, but we don't got anything to say to him. So we're just going to loot all the bushes. Just loot them all. And something that I don't know if it's already explained, but that is completely possible is if you hold the attack button, you can actually charge your sword, which this one is really wimpy. Same with the proto gun, you can charge it up and release it, but both of those attacks are very wimpy, so there's not really any point in doing that. And I do not like this level, it just continues to be very laggy, so I'm going to get out of here because this is not the way that it usually plays. <laughs> this is just a very unfortunately laggy level. And I don't know what to deal with that big gaping hole is, but that's kind of explained later, so I guess I do kind of know, but I don't want to spoil anything. So then we got these guys here, and they're like, hi! And then we're like, okay, bye. But then there was a dog. Two dogs. And they were made of metal. And then there was a big tree trunk, too. And so I was just like, well, let's go beat up a tree trunk, because we can. So we're trying to beat up this tree trunk, which is apparently not very wanting to be beat up. Oh. But we just keep smacking the tree trunk. And then once it is all done with that... Come on, tree trunk. Come on, tree trunk. We're gonna get you. We are gonna get you, and then he's like, "Arg, I have been defeated," and then he bloom, and then we get all the money. Okay, moving on. Okay, there we go. Unfortunately, the tutorial doesn't end there. It keeps going for a little bit, so we're just gonna keep going and doing our best here. We leveled up all our stuff, and it used to be that once you leveled up stuff like that, then it would automatically move to the next level. But they added a lot more cool stuff, so I guess you can't add a bunch of cool stuff without making something lame. So now from now on, instead of just them leveling automatically, you have to forge them, which has a such and such chance of working or not working, depending on how many crystals you put into it. So that's kind of lame, but at the same time, it's understandable. Okay, so yada, 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 yada. 
Okay. And I talk to this guy again, and he's like, hi. And then I'm like, I want to do that mission, and he's like, okay. And then he gives me the mission, and then we go under the mission. Like this. And I don't want to party with anybody. I want to be by myself. Play solo. There we go. Because there's no point in playing with people on tutorial levels. It's just going to make things slower. So, here we go. The Ancient Generator Mission Lobby. Hello, Forge Knight. Hello, Technician. Hello, Arsenal Station. I don't need any of that stuff. We're just going to go right into the mission. So, here we go. I, I'm actually kind of admiring my name up there on the top right, top left corner. It had my name displayed there. Looked kind of fancy, I, I gotta say. I think it did. Okay. I kind of had to force myself to stop talking for a while there because I was going to talk right through that loading screen again. And we're still getting a bit of lag on this level too. I do not know why, but I'm hoping that once we get out of these tutorial levels, that'll be all done away with. But if it's not then I'm going to tweak some settings and we'll get that figured out. But it seems smooth, like for the most part, it's just whenever something has to load for some reason, then it's like, oh, I can't do this anymore, it's too difficult, see, like that. Why was that a problem? It wasn't even loading anything. Okay, here we go. Phew. I can shoot peas out of this thing. And... Eh. Just attack the weird fluffy bunny egg, egg rabbit things. They make weird sounds. And then we get lizards and we're just going to be like, I don't care about lizards. Don't care about rabbit eggs. Don't care about any of that. Okay, and then we got a robot coming out of there and he's like, I'm a robot. And we're going to do our special attack, but it doesn't do anything because it's so weak. And then we're going to just get beat up by robots but then beat them up because we are too fantastic to even care okay we're getting there almost done with the tutorial stuff kind of sort of grab the key pick up keys and unlock doors and even if you don't put them inside the lock it still unlocks the doors because they are such special keys they can do that and we're just going to walk past all these guys because there's no point in attacking them because you can't get the loot anyway. Get that thing to progress. Thank you, useful tip thing. I would have never guessed. Collect heat to level up your gear, except for our gear is already ready to go to level 2, but we can't because we don't got the thing. And we were supposed to pick up that jar, but I didn't want to because it was pointless. Take out the rabbits and the lizard. And the rabbit. There we go. There is quite a bit of grinding to do in this game, but it does reward you pretty heavily sometimes. So, it's most of the time it's very useful to continue grinding. Just gonna attack the tree stump, and he's done, and then attack the dog robot thing, and then the other dog robot thing, and then we're good. The thing we just picked up there in our item slot is a health capsule and we can use that to heal in case we needed it but on this very basic level it's not really necessary because it's um because it's too hard to take damage on this level and even when you do you heal it pretty quickly okay and did we miss a bad guy there are two more bad guys here where did you guys come from just go ahead and clean them all up because we want to get every little bit of money that we can because it's going to be useful for buying even though they are going to be low ranking items it's going to be useful to have them just so that we can continue to advance and now we're going to start our very first little mini boss fight because we blew up that guy's computer and he's like oh, my computer how could you do that He's like, what do we have here? More little creatures that came from the sky here to take my power and disturb my research? No one disrupts the work of the great schema, Razwog. I'll see to it that you never leave this room alive. And so he turns on this big robot thing. And it's big and it's a robot and it's a thing and it spews black spiky things at us. But we are okay because 
they don't really hurt even though it's a giant menacing looking robot that's actually not that menacing looking so we just stand in front of it and wait for it to stop using its shield which takes an unnecessarily long amount of time and then we just continue to smack it and we just take that you machine I will defeat you and then it was defeated and said, no and we step on this and blow up the other computer because we're just mean to that guy he's like my computer you nasty little things don't you dare touch the artifact arg i'll be back for ye and then he runs away because that's what bad guys do most of the time so now we pick up this mysterious object which is definitely not the artifact because we told that guy we weren't gonna touch it right right now we get loot we get free money free heat that we don't need and more free money oh boy oh boy oh boy so there we go that's the first basic tutorial mission completed there's one more before we get into the fun stuff so bear with me we just gotta keep moving on and get past this part and then the fun begins so we got 196 crowns which seems like a lot but it's actually not worth much at all okay rescue camp three light in the darkness but we don't care because this is just a hub for the new beginner players and we don't have time for that we got to move on to the middle ranking players because that's where we gotta be so i started talking during the loading screen again i'm sorry for that <laughs> okay got everything we need now we're gonna talk to the lady even though we don't want to talk to the lady and she's gonna be like yada 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 thank you for that information now we get free stuff and now we are going to do the final tutorial level but there's a loading screen actually there's a midpoint between the loading screen in which we can change our gear which i'm gonna go ahead and take a look through the other gear just to see if there's anything worth switching out for i don't want to forge anything though so you can go away but let's see don't want any of that don't want any of that can wear this instead of my hat to be a cyclops but that's not really necessary um what's the difference between these nothing really you just get extra health on this one and i'm gonna go ahead and wear it because this one's ready to level up and the other one isn't and we only got one shield we got that stuff and can we yeah we got cracked fire crystals so we can actually level our sword even though it's not gonna be really worth anything so yeah let's go ahead and do that Kabloom! yay achieved level three and we're gonna do it on this one too even though I'm never going to use that thing again because that thing is too wimpy. And we achieved level 3. Yay, let's level up our helmet as well. And yay, we achieved level 2. And then we're going to level up that thing. And achieve level up 3. Yeah, and then level the shield and all that stuff. There we go. Okay, it's not too shabby, not too shabby. Now let's move onward. Grab this thing. And we are into the next level. Alright, we're just about at 20 minutes now, so we are going to try and hurry up through this tutorial as quickly as possible. Maybe get some fun gameplay in, but we might just have to finish the tutorial for this episode and then begin the fun stuff next time. Next time we're going to be having Mr. Silent Sam joining us because he is just beginning this game as well. And he will be assisting us, even though I've already played the game a whole lot just not on this account anyway i'm talking during the loading screen again i am so sorry okay loading screen over shield bash you can do that to go like a boom and it doesn't really help much but it's fancy i suppose and then we push the two buttons and we move on time to get through this level and there's more lag for some reason i don't like that much at all okay and the guy that's over there just blowing the stuff up he's He's our little partner NPC assistant guy. At first, when I when I first played this, I thought he was another player, and I was like, I thought I was going solo. What's up with this? But he's just an NPC that carries that thing on his back. 
There we go. He follows us around kind of cluelessly. But that's all right. Okay. We open the door. And then the doors behind us just suddenly lock. And in case wasn't one gate wasn't enough, they put two and three and four and five of them. And then this guy is like, I am back and I'm a pirate. I thought you could just walk away with the artifact, did you? Hand it over now or I'll light this fuse and turn you into a million tiny smoldering bits. Looks like we have no choice, Banana Man Lays. This gizmo isn't worth dying over. Here, take it. Perfect. I'll keep the artifact and burn you to the ground all the same. <laughs> so, pew, pew, pew. And then we exploded. The end. That devil. The whole place is coming down. We need to find a way to put out this fire now. Oh, my grave. We're going to die. Run. Oh, yeah. I jumped out of the way of that because I could. Now run. Run, run, run. We are all going to perish. And he just poofed next to me because he's an NPC and he can do that without consequence. <laughs> we need to put out this fire. So let's fight some robots because that's how you put out fires. Okay, run. We must go, Mr. NPC. Go, 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 go. Okay, run, more robots. Take out all the robots and get the money too because money is a very important thing to collect when you're trying to put out fires. And take out trees too because you don't want them to catch on fire. Okay, got that money. Got everything we need. Push the button. We are making progress. Oh no, more robots. What are we going to do? Oh, I took damage. How terrible. Okay, we got the money. We got everything we need. And now we are running for our lives through this flaming inferno that we must not perish in. Oh, he scared me. I thought it was a bad guy all of a sudden. All right, now we're going to turn off this fire because it's that easy to put out fires just by flicking a switch. Which one did I put out? That one. And then we're going to put out that fire too. Yeah. And then we're going to grab this key. And we're going to open the door with its skills again. I wonder if I can put it in backwards. No, it doesn't quite reach that far. Okay. And then we are going to push this button. We are going to push this button. And he's like, oh, who could it be? What? You're still here? The artifact is mine. The face cam died. No, and now it's back. Hello, face cam. I left to destroy you myself. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I forgot to move the mouse out of there. Was that in the way all this time? I apologize if it was. But oh no, he says he's going to destroy us all by himself, so he calls out bad guys to help him out. Because that's totally destroying us by himself. And then he's going to run away and be like, Yarr. No, he burned my partner. How could he? And then we took out the robots. And he's like, oh, I'm back. I am so back. And then we go smack. Smack, 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 smack. Burn. No, the house is burning down. And then we're gonna not burn, and then we're gonna just smack him and then beat up the robots again. And then he's gonna get up again. We're gonna throw a rocket at him, but we missed. And so then we're just gonna smack him. Just like that. And then smack him. And then smack that guy. And then throw a rocket at him and catch on fire, but I'm okay. And then we won! Yay! Because we're winners! There we go. That was pretty dramatic. Now we're going to pick up this mysterious object again. That we already discovered what it was. But apparently we forgot that quickly. So again, it's a mysterious object. Thanks, Banana Man, please! I thought we were done for back there. Let's get the artifact back to Spiral Ace Cuba for something or other. Let's turn on the showers because that's a good idea. Yay! And then everything just gets put out. And then we get more free money and treasure because that's what happens. Give me all the money. 
all the money and then, oh no, bad guys, but they're actually good guys. Hello, we're supposed to talk to you, but we don't really care, so we're just going to come back into the hub. And we're finally going to make it to the main hub, which is where the actual gameplay begins. Da -da 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 -da. Leveling up all that stuff. Bada bing! Got more crowns. Yay! My goodness, I gotta get used to noticing when loading screens happen. Anyway, we ranked up to Apprentice. Yeah! We're so cool. Hey, Banana Man, have a bomb. It's the bomb. Oh, sweet. Why don't I have it? Because it's in my inventory, that's why. And then we're going to open this and get the bomb and then replace the proto gun because I like the bomb so much better. Even though it's still incredibly weak. It's like, I'm going to blow up this whole town. You can't stop me. Arg. But that's okay. Now these guys are just like, salute. But we don't care because look at all that down there. It's so fantastic and huge and scary looking. Okay. And then these guys are like, we're not going to salute because we don't care. And then there's a bunch of dead rat guys there. And then there's these guys. And then it's like, hi, I'm a big monster. And he's like, hi. And then, woo, we go into the town square. And now, ha ha, I bet you didn't think I was going to catch it, did you? Okay, stranger, chorus, we made it. It's a robot stranger guy. And I'm like, okay. And then that energy is the currency that's above crowns each um, thing of energy costs a certain amount of crowns and yeah I'll kind of explain that after a bit so anyway the first tutorialness or the whole tutorialness is basically done so now the following levels are all like actual game levels and as you can see there's a lot of them but um, we're not going to do those right now because we're going to just end the episode off right now but a couple things I am going to explain before we completely end the episode here is that this part right here, which just completely lag froze. Okay, this area here is called the Haven, and this is pretty much the hub. As you can see, it's quite large with a little icon there that's moving around, and there are different areas of it. We got the bazaar over here, I think. There's something or other up here, and then the arcade up there. Lots of cool stuff to find around here. There is... Um, a cool pointless area right here with a mustache slime, but that's really just a pointless area. I don't know why it's there. But we have the auction house here, which is where everybody buys and sells items for each other. And it's where you can find good deals on a lot of things. Um, I'll go into depth to explain the rest of it. But just a quick note on energy is that you don't have to go to this guy to do it, but I just forgot the keyboard command. Um, energy is something that is used as the main currency in the game besides crowns um, or not the main currency but it's use it's more useful than crowns are as you can see you can actually buy it with real money but I am a free-to-play player so I never do that as you can see you can buy um, 100 energy for 7168 crowns and you can sell um, energy for 6,731 crowns because you can never make as much selling it as you would buying it because that's the way the economy works. Um, this is also the market where you can actually post an offer to be like, I'd buy 100 energy for 425 crowns because that's how much I got. And if somebody was actually dumb enough to accept that, then you would get a very nice deal. But as you can see, it's actually still um, a better deal to buy energy this way than to buy it directly from the game's um, engine, which is pretty much still the same, but you get the idea. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end up the episode here. If you did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe, comment if you so desire. Feel free to friend my account on Banana Man Plays here on Spiral Nights, and once we get enough fundage going, we will start up the Guild of the Bananas. And we will be fantastic. So I look forward to it. Look forward to seeing you guys all here. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.